All right, um, so today we're gonna to be working on a t-shirt order form. Um, this happens all the time. People have events, they need to collect the sizes that um, their various participants are gonna need. Sometimes the t-shirt's optional, you might have to pay for it. The shirt might help raise money for some sort of cause. Uh, and it becomes a pain for the administrator to keep track of all this stuff. So we're gonna show you how to create a uh, Google form for collecting um, a merchandise order form for t-shirts or other items. If there is payment required uh, for those items, it will automatically send the customer off to pay for it using PayPal or Stripe. Um, and we're gonna use the payable forms add-on inside of uh, Google Forms to do that. So to get started, if you've never used Google Forms before, uh, all you have to do is head over to forms.google.com. They even have you know, some, uh, a t-shirt sign-up form template that's sitting here. You could get started with that one. Um, I've started a little bit to save some time for this video, and I'll kind of walk you through what I did so far. Um, this is the title and the description. I kind of just put here that this is a sample. Um, I've turned on require email address uh, so that the submitters have to do that, and some of those settings are available inside here. So collect email address um, always. So that's what I have turned on here inside the settings. The other thing you will wanna do is, you know, make sure you're not restricting it to people inside your organization, or if it's an order form specifically for your organization and you're using Google Apps, you can leave this on. Uh, that's fine. You can limit the amount of uh, the uh, responses if you want to. So that's all available in the settings section. I uploaded my header here and you can customize the theme and upload different header images. So I uploaded a file that I had on my desktop and you can kind of choose the different theme colors from things that look good. I liked the, the kind of the dark one there and uh, made this darker as well. Okay, and so really I just kind of set up the theme that way. Generally your form, you might want to ask some separate questions. So, you know, what department do you work in? What group are, what time of the event are you attending? So any other information, what is your employee ID? Uh, you know, things like that, that you might need to know, you can add as questions. So you just hit add question and questions will pop in. It could be multiple choice, any type of question that you might want to ask is available here. So that's uh, no problem whatsoever. I'm just going to uh, get rid of this one. Uh, so I asked a couple questions here, and then when I got to my t-shirt section, I ended up putting in um, what we would call here a checkbox grid. Whoops, sorry. And so when you go down here, this is a checkbox grid. It comes with rows and it comes with columns. And so if you wanted a user to be able to just select many different options here, you know, say you were ordering for your group, you were the marketing department, and you had to order different sizes, um, what we've done was put together the size amounts as well as the quantity and changed the price for each quantity here inside the columns. I'm just doing a dash and then the number. All I'm doing is kind of me manually entering this like that. Um, the other thing that's you know interesting to note, you can, so this is another one with a drop down I've selected. So this is a drop down style. And in each of the options, I'm either letting somebody pick small, medium, large, extra large. When you click this ellipsis here, it can uh, you can put show description. It gives you a little bit, uh, that just hit it, so let me uh, do it again, show description, is it lets you type in a little bit more information about this product. So if this was your title, this could be the description. So this is where I was putting um, this hoodie uh, is limited to one per employee and helps raise money for charity um, per employee per year. Okay, uh, as we go down, you can see I've also uh, done another one, which, which is checkboxes. The kind of cool thing about checkboxes is you can add pictures to the response items. Um, so let, let's do another item here. You can see this little um, uh, image icon can be added to the response. So if what I was doing was just going browse um, and then choosing them off of my desktop. Let me just go back here to the desktop. Uh, what else do I have? I have a hat, um, a hoodie, there was a baseball shirt. Uh, let me open this one. 
And so it's kind of nice that you can just add um, checkbox items here, and all you have to do is um, put uh, uh, baseball T, and we'll make this one be uh, $34, just like that. So pretty easy. Um, it really helps me you know, kind of make things visual. And then down at the bottom, I did a section for pickup and shipping options. Uh, I will pick my order up at the office and then just a standard flat rate and an express rate shipping. So once you got this all looking pretty good, which I think this is pretty good, the next step is you need to install the payable forms add-on. And that is what will automatically scroll through here, look at the prices each time somebody submits it, calculate the total that is due, and uh, forward them to a checkout, which is, is really quite cool. So, okay. So if you don't have the payable forms add-on, you just need to go to your browser and search for the Google Workspace Marketplace. And uh, this is a, a, a store for all of the different add-ons you can get for working with docs and sheets and uh, things like that. Up here, you would search for payable forms and uh, install this add-on here. Um, this is the payable add-on and it lets your, uh, pay your forms accept payment. So once you've installed it, I uh, have already started and I already have it here. So I'm gonna hit payable forms and make this form payable. So I'm gonna click that button. And what's gonna happen is the payable forms sidebar will open and there's a couple steps to get started. So I'm just gonna hit auto configure form and sheet. And what this will do is, um, set up the form so that the answers go to an attached uh, Google Sheet, and it will change my confirmation message that's shown at the end of the form to the submitters to give them a link, and it will make sure that the email address is required. So when I click on this, it'll take me across to the uh, new Google Sheet, and each time this form is submitted, the Google Sheet will um, update all of these purple rows purple rows, excuse me, are coming across from the form. And then what the payable forms add-on did, if you scroll over here, you can see there's some payable status uh, columns that they automatically update here as the order items come through. So that looks good. Um, and I am now going to, I don't need to add a sample payment section because I already added all of my, my payment sections here. So I don't need to do that one. I'm gonna sync the theme with the checkout. So what that will do is it'll take all the themes inside my form, the header image, the title, the colors, and it'll make uh, a checkout page that is hosted, um, a secure checkout page that matches the look and feel of your form. So here's now a sample uh, of, you know, this, we're now on checkout.payableplugins.com and this is showing you kind of the look and feel of what your customers might come across or your users after they submit the form. So it looks great, looks exactly like my form, quick and easy, uh, didn't have to do anything there. So that's awesome, so I can close that. Um, the next thing you need to do is connect a payment provider. So uh, I am going to use PayPal, it's, it's broadly available, you know, kind of around the world. Uh, they're also working on Stripe and Square and others. So for now, I'm going to connect a standard PayPal account. If you're a business in the US, UK, or Australia, you can use the PayPal Commerce. That will give you the, the nicer inline credit card payment. Um, with PayPal, you can still accept cards uh, through the inline guest checkout. It's uh, you're, not all of your users need to sign up for a PayPal account. It's, it's, it's still a good way to go. So I'm just gonna use this one for now. This will redirect you to um, to the PayPal, and I'll just go through this. It'll ask you for permission. Let's just tell them I'm not a robot. Okay, mountains and hills have come. Okay. And this will return you to payable, and you can hit close this window. So you should see your PayPal account and that if you haven't confirmed the email address on your PayPal account or other things, you'll have to do that. But uh, in general, it should bring you back. It should check that the payment provider connection was done and it'll say connected. And now that step is complete. Okay, so perfect, so I'm gonna close that window. And the last step is generally just to toggle on the form as payable. And so when this happens, 
uh, it will now analyze all form responses that are coming in from your users and it'll email them if they owe money uh, and give them a receipt. And what they recommend is that you do a test transaction just to make sure everything works uh, as you expect. You can see on the right hand side here that this is still in test mode. So test mode is on for practice. We're not moving real money right now. Um, so let's give it a try. So now I'm at my Google form, just the normal share URL that would be uh, used that you could share with your friends or your family or whoever it, you're needing to fill out this form. I'm going to just uh, put in Kyle at tableforecast.com and I'm in engineering and uh, I started here uh, on November 1st. And so you can see what um, the checkbox grid looks like that we, we set up. So this is for the classic t-shirt, um, you know, one is $24. I'm gonna get three for me and maybe one for my dad who is size extra large and maybe one for my wife uh, who is size small. Okay, then I will take one of these hacker hoodies. They look great. I'm gonna take one in medium. And then you can see here where our extra this was our checkbox items that we made, uh, how they look really kind of cool. You can quickly turn on or off different items. So, uh, you know, being in Canada, I'll take, I'll take both the toque and the hat. Give me some socks. This backpack looks good. Okay, I'm really splurging and I want it fast. So I'm gonna take the express two day shipping. So pretty easy user friendly form, all created with Google Forms, uh, super nice. Uh, looks really, really good. So I'm gonna hit submit. What this is going to do is we're now going to see the new confirmation uh, page and it says thanks for your submission. Here is a link. Uh, and so when I click on that link, what that's going to do is automatically redirect me to the uh, payable forms checkout page and it will show you all of the different items that the user selected that involved money. There, there was money in the answer. So, you know, I got a size small, uh, quantity one, size medium, size extra large, the hoodie, and all of the different items, including my two day shipping is all right there. Pretty cool. So what happens with Google Forms is as soon as this is submitted, I got a new um, line in my, in my, um, in my sheet, which is, which is amazing. So this happens automatically with Google. You, uh, as soon as you submit the form and it's connected to a sheet, it will pop up inside here. So you can see automatically all when the form was submitted, who submitted it, all of the different questions that the person responded to. And then what Payable Forms does is they uh, create the tracking ID, they calculate the total, and they tell you the status. So the status right now for this one is it's we sent an email to the person, um, they haven't yet paid, which is true because um, our order is, is right here. So let's try it out and actually go pay this. Um, when it's in test mode, there's some test cards on the page that you can use, so you don't have to use your own. And you can just pop in these test card numbers here. So I'm gonna put in the MasterCard and uh, give it a try, 371. And I'm gonna hit pay with MasterCard. And so this will reach out to PayPal, do the payment processing, bring it, bring it back, uh, give the customer a nice little receipt that kind of shows them everything that they want to do. If they ever come back to this order page, it will automatically show them the receipt because they cannot pay it again. So it looks really good. The cool thing is that now when I go back to my sheet, you can see here this was automatically updated. So it's now paid, we put it, it's, it was a test transaction, so we don't wanna let you mix up that that was real money, it was not real money, it was, it was a test. Uh, but you can see what the payment method was, what the PayPal transaction ID was, and when the payable item was last, so when was this paid? This is the date for the payment. Really quite cool, if you ever wanna go to look at that specific receipt, you can click on it and go right back to the receipt. Um, and super nice and fast, easy way to um, turn your checkout into a payable um, merchandise link. So everything is all done right there. As a user, I could see uh, if you stretch each of these out, so how many classic t-shirts did they get in size medium? I could see it there. So these are all the form details that were coming through from that uh, checkbox. And uh, everything looks really quite good. So let's go back here. The other uh, more advanced configuration options are down inside the checkout settings. 
If you want to um, add taxes to it, if you're collecting tax, you can just slide this slider here. Uh, that is no problem. If you also, if you're having trouble getting it exactly where it has to go, you can just kind of type in 15. And then um, for the handling fee, this adds a bit of extra handling fee potentially to cover your, your PayPal costs. It, it's, you know, or if you are having to do something manually, you can um, add a, an additional handling slash processing fee. So now that we've added those handling fees, we can do one last um, test. So all you to share your form, all you really have to do is click send, um, get the link. This is the link that you would send. You could get a short link if you want. Um, and what we'll do is we'll pop this into a new tab. And this would be what, hey, do you want to get some of our team merchandise? Go to the form and get it. So let's do uh, a second one. Let's do uh, Betsy at pp.com. And she was in marketing and um, started yesterday. And she's going to take uh, two and no hoodie and the backpack and free shipping. So this should be a cheaper order. So let's hit submit. Uh, we're gonna click on the link. What happens here um, is sometimes if you click the link so fast, what hasn't happened yet is the data hasn't sunk um, from Google Forms to the checkout. So we'll go through this quick uh, kind of 10 second uh, transition, which will then migrate the user automatically. So you can see here, she got uh, two size small, a champion backpack. Let's use the discover card on this one. Um, and we will paste that in here, 10, 24, and 059. Pay with discover. All right, it's processing and done. Looks good, and we're going to check our spreadsheet, and we should have a new order in here. Yeah, so we got Betsy's order, we got two paid orders, one with Discover, another PayPal transaction ID. Really easy and nice way to keep track of of your status here. So that all looks really good. Um, in general, if you're looking, if you're actually making T-shirts. Um, I've had great success with this company, Printful, uh, Printful.com. No affiliation, you know, they haven't paid me anything, but really cool way to make mock-ups. Like you, you can kind of just, I, I uploaded our, our logo on a shirt here. Uh, you pick black, you upload it. Um, if I go to the product and uh, pick medium and hit continue, what I do is I've, for making this uh, sample store, I've just been um, getting these mockups that it'll generate, which are kind of cool, and you can hit preview on the mockup, and just downloading these images, right click, save image as, and we'll call this, you know, the payable black T, and save. So if you do want um, to make t-shirts, Printful is a really good way to do bulk orders, um, custom t-shirts, you, you can edit the amount and the quantity, um, and so after you've kind of got your orders and you're ready to place the place the order, if you need to have them made, um, Printful is a is a great place to 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 do to do that. So that's uh, just a unrelated tip here. Um, okay, so I'll close Printful. Um, let's go back here. And so that is generally it. So now um, all you have to do when you're ready to go live, if you find that this goes white, I find if you just minimize it and Something weird is going on with Chrome in the later version. So if it turns white, just minimize it and open it back up again. But uh, when you're ready to go live, um, all you need to do is turn testing mode off and that will turn it on for real money. And that now means when we go to the checkout flow that those test cards won't be there and it will be real money moving. So real money will be happening when test mode is off. So um, that is really about it. It's a fast and easy way. And what I'm going to do is I will include a link. I'm going to turn test mode back on and I will include a link in the description of this video so you can go and try out the, the, the test form and, and try it out. Place a, uh, an order for some gear and um, you can see how quick and easy it actually is to make your Google form become a, uh, a payable order form for your uh, use case. So. Um, Good luck and uh, any questions do not hesitate.